There are new calls tonight for safety improvements to a road near several schools in the Long Island town of Old Westbury. The parents of a teenager killed on that road are among those pushing hardest for improvements. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan shares their plight. It's okay. It's okay. We have to live. Rana and Javed Suleiman are suffering unspeakable grief. It just broke my heart into pieces. It was last week when their 17-year-old son Hassan, straight-A honor student with aspirations to be a doctor like both his parents, lost his life on Glen Cove Road in Old Westbury. His SUV collided with a Nassau bus. Weather was poor. He just left the Wheatley School and was a half mile from home. Glen Cove Road is like a road of death. May we all hope that Hassan is the last student to die on such a dangerous stretch of roads. The stretch of Glen Cove Road between Hillside Avenue and IU Willits Road is without lights or median. It parallels Northern State Parkway and is often filled with commercial trucks. This unfortunate and tragic accident is just one of the many car accidents that occur regularly behind me on Glen Cove Road. Legislator Josh Laffison's demanding an immediate traffic study here. Drivers like the Astros are suggesting rumble strip speed cameras flashing lights. All of a sudden, a, a car out of nowhere just hit us uh, straight on. Very, very dangerous. There's no divider on this road. People speed. There are no speed bumps. Residents say they've complained through the last three administrations. Nassau County's dropped the ball on road safety investigations, a backlog of 1,300 unanswered cases. Therefore, I am calling on County Executive Bruce Blakeman to immediately increase the number of employees within the Nassau County Department of Public Works. The reality that uh, for years we have been trying to have those Nassau County roads that bound the village reviewed, analyzed. There's a lot of questions to be answered. And in, we do not, yeah, I do not, yeah, we do not want this to happen yeah, to any yeah, anybody, other child, yeah. anybody. The county executive says his heart goes out to the Suleimans and pledges to look into potential measures to increase traffic safety. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.